In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make animated snow tracks in Blender very easily, just like these. So here we are in Blender 3.1 Alpha, but to my knowledge, this works in any modern uh, version of Blender, so it doesn't matter. And what we're going to start off with is we're going to delete the default cube, of course, and the lamp, as we're not going to need those. And we're going to start laying down the foundation of the snow. Now, there's a different ways to create snow in Blender, but I'm going to show you a method that I think is the easiest and quickest way. And that is using a free add-on called Real Snow. Now, this add-on is free. You can download it from the creator's website. I will leave a link down below. Where you can find the add-on and i'm not going to show you how to install it there's a million tutorials of that on youtube so what we're going to start off with is we're going to create a plane to lay out the, our foundation i'm going to scale it up just a tiny bit and with the plane selected we're going to go into real snow tab right here and as you can see here we get the uh, these settings right here now what this add-on does is it actually creates a new mesh that is placed on top of the mesh that we have selected so it doesn't replace the mesh in any way or, or transforms the mesh that we have created um, and this actually makes it quite easy if you want to place snow on top of objects or want to decorate with snow as you can control start tweaking the snow after you placed it um, which is very good now we can play with the coverage, we can bring that down and that determines how much snow is placed on the object and we can play with the height which uh, basically means the thickness of the snow. And we can also use the selected faces settings which basically places snow wherever you have selected uh, certain faces. But for this tutorial, we're going to get the coverage to 100%. We're going to keep the height at 0 0.3. And with the plane selected, we're going to click Add Snow. As you can see here, snow is generated. And if we press right here, we can see that the plane is still there. It's just parented to the snow. So if you for some reason wanted to remove the plane and just keep the snow, you can select the snow, press Alt P, clear parent. And if you select the plane again, you can see it's free from the snow mesh and you can delete. Now, what we want to do is we want to prepare the snow for animation. And before we do this, let's just make sure that we're in cycles, uh, that we're using our GPU if you have one and optics denoising there we go so now we can go into render tab and take a look at the snow so to to view the snow a bit better i'm gonna add a hdri and using blender kit right here i can just place a random hdri let's make it a snowy one This is also a free add-on if you're interested. Uh, I will also link this add-on in the description. Um, there's a bunch of free assets and paid assets that you can just import to Blender, which is very nice. So as you can see here, if we take a look at the snow, we get some quite realistic snow. I might need to tweak some settings with the environment to you know, view the snow a bit better, but trust me, it looks good. All right, so let's go into material view and let's start bringing this animation to life. Now with the snow selected, you go into the physics properties tab, select dynamic paint and the type should be canvas and let's add a canvas. Now make sure that the animation frame and start and end is corresponding with the actual frames that you're gonna render out. Uh, otherwise, 
the animation won't work and it could be a headache if you miss this one and wonder why your animation never works. Uh, so make sure that this is uh, between those frames that you want to render out. And under surface, we're going to change the surface type from paint to displace. Uh, the displace factor we're going to bring down to 0 0.8 as I have discovered this renders better results. This is just from my experience, but you can play around with these settings yourself. Now we need something to interact with the snow and create this animation. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to add in a UV sphere. And I'm going to scale it down just a teeny bit to make it easier to work with. Now, just to explain a little uh, easier how this actually works. Uh, we have now marked the snow with a canvas. So this is considered to Blender as a canvas where something is going to be painted on. And what we need to do is we want to make the objects that are going to interact with the snow the brush. So with the UV sphere selected, we're going to add a dynamic paint to that as well. But the type is going to be brush instead of canvas and add brush. Now these settings you can leave as is, uh, but of course you could play around with the settings if you are looking for other results than I show here. Now basically the whole physics setup is done here. All we need to do is make an animation and bake the physics. So if I were to press play here, now this is a bit slow, let's go into this view instead. So. If I press play here now, whoop, and I move the sphere down towards the snow, and up again, you can see here that the sphere actually made a dent in the snow as it would in real life. Now this uh, could be a bit slow for a computer, so be careful with the scale of your animation and physics. And also keep in mind that the snow mesh that is generated is very high poly. And I would recommend, if you're not going to use the real snow add-on, that you make a low poly version of the snow and you use subdivision dividers uh, instead. But what we can do now with this physics setup is we can animate the ball however we want and the snow will always react in a correct way to the ball. So for this tutorial I'm gonna do a basic animation. So what we can do is we can move this sphere here and I'm just gonna turn off this for now. And we're gonna create a basic animation. So let's start at frame zero. Gonna press I and inset a keyframe for location and rotation. Now we're gonna move a few frames up and place down the sphere here. Press I again, location and rotation. Go forward, and we're going to move it along like this. Here we go. As you can see here, the sphere has interacted with the snow correctly. And if we go into render view, we can see here that we have perfect snow tracks from the sphere. Great. Now, when you created your animation, you need to bake the animation to make it a bit easier to uh, work with the file and render out the image. So let's select the snow mesh again, go back to the physics tabs and under cache right here, we're going to select and click bake. Depending on your animation size and the amount of snow mesh that you are animating, this could take a while. So go make some coffee, grab a cup of tea or whatever 
suits you and just wait so let's go up to render render image and see what we got and there you go we got realistic snow animated so let's wrap this up a little bit this is the animation i made for the car and let's do a quick breakdown i imported a card that i downloaded from sketchfab which is free i'll leave a link down below and i used rig a car add-on to rig the car i created a plane to be the mesh of the snow then i imported a house from blender kit adjusted a bit of materials made a road materials to the road then i added even the snow on the roads now I did a few adjustments, added some snow to the house, then I added a ground below the snow to show up when we do the snow, snow animation. Then I made the animation of the car, which is easy, I just used a curve and a follow path modifier to the car. And this took a while, just need to tweak some animations, do all the little details to make it look realistic. And then when the animation was done, I uh, applied the dynamic paint to the snow and then I, I applied a brush to each wheel of the car. It's that easy. And then I just added in some trees, some random decoration in the environment to make it look better. And I then baked out the snow animation and rendered. So there you go. There's the snow animation with the car tracks.